What's going on gamers? It's your boy Daily Tactics here and today we're back with some more Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. In this video we have 2 million US Army soldiers from World War 2 and they have 200 Shermans comprised in that 2 million, 1 million shotgunners and 1 million Thompson soldiers. They are going to be fighting against 2 million U.S. futuristic soldiers here. These futuristic soldiers are featured in another video of mine, and it seemed like a lot of people, uh, <laughs> the the Tesla coil gun uh, that I modified their guns with, uh, it was just, uh, people loved it. People seemed to really enjoy it. Uh, but I will say, uh, you know, seizure warning for anyone out there because it, it is a bright flash of light. Uh, so if you're prone to seizures, maybe this video is not for you. I don't really know what causes seizures, but I'm pretty sure it's bright flashes of light and things like that. So there's that. Either way, uh, they also have 200 futuristic Shermans too. So the deal with these futuristic soldiers are they have more health than modern soldiers. Uh, they have more speed than modern soldiers. And they have more damaging weapons than modern soldiers, as you can see here by their futuristic Tesla coil firing weapons. However... They have much shorter range than modern soldiers. Their range is, like, pathetic compared to modern soldiers. It, it barely tickles them. Uh, you know, when the modern soldiers can fire, the Tesla coil futuristic soldiers, they have to get three times as far to then fire. So, as you can see here, you know, they're getting cut down pretty good. Meanwhile, uh, the World War II U.S. soldiers are still standing pretty decently. However, this battle is primarily going to be happening in this cityscape over this way. So potentially, these futuristic soldiers uh, can win this thing based off of the fact that they have more health than the standard U.S. soldiers, uh, and they're going to be in close quarters combat over here, where their gun is going to be the most powerful, because one shot of this thing can take out like 10 U.S. World War II soldiers at once. It can be absolutely devastating. So it'll be really interesting to see which side will prevail because right now the futuristic soldiers basically have every advantage on this battlefield except for the fact that they have way worse range. So is range really that important in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator is what we're going to be asking in this video here today. You can see a ton of World War II soldiers just getting zapped to death by single bolts of this Tesla coil lightning. Absolutely insane. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that like button. It helps me out tremendously. Uh, let's try and get a thousand likes in the first 24 hours. Subscribe if you have not already. We're working our way towards 500,000 subscribers. And comment down below if you want to see more of the futuristic soldiers uh, in future videos of Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. I think they're pretty fun. Um, it, you know, it's a very sort of derpy faction that we've got here and hopefully they actually add like modern soldiers in the base game as well as maybe even a future faction in the base game as well in the future i think that would be really really cool uh instead of having to modify your own units or maybe modders will add that in too you know that would be definitely very very neat uh, but for now this is the best we can do with what we've got either way currently it looks like the futuristic soldiers are actually getting kind of butchered and uh, I think that's primarily just due to the fact that there's so much incoming fire uh, from so far away from the World War II soldiers that the futuristic soldiers, oh, they're getting destroyed, man. Right now, we've got 100,000 kills for the World War II soldiers and only 30,000 kills for the futuristic soldiers. We can see the futuristic Shermans over here. They also have the Tesla coil uh, capabilities, and they're super powerful. But they're locked behind all of this infantry, making it really, really difficult for them to actually get forward and use their Tesla coil capabilities here. Uh, on this side of the battlefield, it seems like we are getting more Tesla shots out there. But compared to the rate of fire of all of these World War II soldiers, it is next to nothing. I mean, after all, you know, if you've got superior weaponry, superior health, all that stuff, but you can't actually get close enough to use it. Wow, that was a weird little camera glitch right there. Then then what's the point of it? Okay, there's some weird hitbox thing that's shaking the camera upward. Let's see. Yep, that's bizarre. I don't know what's doing that. <laughs> so we can't zoom in on that part of the battlefield. Uh, but yeah, I mean, look over here. This entire side of the battlefield is just bloody. And then this side of the battlefield, perfectly clean because the Tesla coils have to get real close. To actually be utilized. I think it would be cool to do a time lapse of the Tesla coil firing for the future soldiers here from above. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay. 
All right, hopefully that was kind of a dope time lapse. Uh, you know, I think it might be pretty cool to watch. Um, either way, at this point, it's looking like the futuristic soldiers are definitely going to lose. I mean, they're basically just wandering into a death pit down here. Um, they're still maintaining power over the city for the most part, which is good, but like, look at the body piles that they're being created. Dear Lord, they just don't have the range, man. They just really don't. It's brutal out here. Uh, we right now have 400,000 dead futuristic soldiers and only 120,000 dead World War II soldiers, man. Wowza. Uh, I think uh, since this futuristic soldier battle is basically going to be a wash here uh, with the futuristic soldiers getting absolutely destroyed, I think we'll run this back again with a defense for the futuristic soldiers and make, make sure that doesn't make any sort of a little difference there. You know, see if they can defend better than they can, you know, attack another attacker. Because maybe they can. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see, I suppose. Um, at the very least, the front lines haven't moved too much. My dog's playing with a squeaky toy right now. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're still sort of maintaining their front line, but at the cost of so many soldiers, my mans. So many. All right, the World War II U.S. Army has now killed half of the futuristic soldiers. My dog's still playing with the squeaky toy. He's so cute. Um, yeah, it's definitely not going to be a win for the futuristic soldiers here. It's just a matter of time now. Um, there's also a lot of attacking going on over here. Actually, this is where the most futuristic soldiers uh, are able to fire, which is pretty good. Uh, mainly because they're coming up over this hill and the other soldiers, the World War II soldiers, aren't really able to fire at them until they're just on the crest of the hill here. So this is actually a good position for the futuristic soldiers where they're able to maybe even get more kills uh, than the World War II soldiers are. So pretty impressive stuff right here, but it's not the same for the rest of the battlefield where uh, the World War II soldiers are just absolutely dominating the entirety of this thing uh, and crushing, crushing the futuristic soldiers. All right, gamers, the battle's pretty much over. It seems like we just have a few troopers that are probably glitched somewhere, uh, but the end result was 1.98 million kills for the World War II soldiers and only 699,000 for the futuristic soldiers. Not very impressive for the future boys. Not at all. I guess the old World War II guns are just a little bit better. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and run it back and have the uh, futuristic soldiers defend this time around and we'll lessen their numbers too since they're getting a defender's advantage all righty then gamers here we go round two so we still have two million world war ii soldiers but this time around we only have about 200,000 futuristic soldiers but they are holding position within this city and perhaps the little nooks and crannies inside this city will give them enough cover to actually win we also have roof shermans which um yeah those are a thing now <laughs> so that's very fun um, I have a feeling this early line of futuristic soldiers is probably all going to die without any kills because, you know, these, these guys are already firing at them. Uh, so I can't imagine these guys will get any kills since they won't be close enough to actually kill the U.S. soldiers. Uh, so this entire front section here is just cannon fodder at this point in time. Um, and we'll just go ahead and let them die until the World War II soldiers get close enough to actually fight inside the battlefield here inside the town you know oh we've also got the tanks firing out now at these guys so yeah the cannon fodder is real right now Okay, so we basically just saw the slaughtering of all those soldiers. There's still a few left, um, but yeah, they're getting like no kills. 500 kills for the futuristic soldiers right now. I think they're coming from these corners around here. Uh, meanwhile, 53,000 kills for the World War II soldiers. Um, again, hopefully the futuristic soldiers can actually do something once they're defending the inside here. That would be their hook heirs. Um, although it does look like a lot of the bullets from the World War II soldiers are going through the buildings, which is damaging these guys. This entire battle might be for nothing. 
Bro, they gotta fix the hitboxes. Bullets should not be able to pass through buildings like this. Oh, that's really annoying. Okay, so this, this might just be a moot point here and just completely, completely useless of a second battle, but I'll still let it ride out. We'll see if, uh, you know, they can defend the interior, but it looks like, yeah, the bullets are just going through the buildings, killing these guys. I mean, look at these guys. Look at these guys here. They should not be dead. They really shouldn't. There's no one that can physically shoot them, but they're getting shot at through this building here. Oh, that's really annoying. Oh, man. All right, this battle's basically pointless then because the same thing's going to happen. Uh, so I appreciate you guys watching, although um, I do wish we could have had that cool defense. Let me know if you guys have any other ideas that we could do with World War II versus these futuristic soldiers because uh, at the moment, um, there's not a ton we can do, especially with bullets being able to pass through these guys. Uh, the World War II units are just so much stronger than them, it's, I, and I can't increase the range of the futuristic units because the Tesla coil only has so far of range, so it's a little bit annoying. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace! I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.